But I know that they're going to thank you for coming as well. But the, I think the turnout tonight is beyond uh, all of our expectations. And we had great expectations, Very too, nice. with all the support. So uh, thank you from, from all of us to all of you for coming tonight. We're going to go through uh, the silent auction winners really quickly. So please listen for your name. If you were the winner of, uh, of your auction item, if you could just kind of hang for a little bit. We're going to introduce Dave and Kathy so you don't have to necessarily get up and go claim it right now. Uh, we'll do that kind of at the end of the live auction. Right, and when you claim your tickets, uh, your silent auction items, you'll go under the, what is that, a bingo thing? A bingo collar, whatever. Under there. The bingo? Yeah, by the bingo counter. That's where you pick up your prizes. It's a dog track. Bingo counter. Dog track. Now you're really confusing me. <laughs> All right, here we go. The uh, cat lover basket went to S Powers for $25. The lollipop tree went to Nikki Austin for $15. Avon went to Todd Egler for $35. He's got the softest skin of anyone I've ever met. Todd Egler, I'm telling you. Okay. The homemade gourmet, uh, Amanda, jeez, I can't read your last name, Wolfhunder, $20. You know if he bid on it, though. Okay. Little Big Town went to Diane Jackson for $30. Man, she beat me out on that one. Did you bid on that? Oh, oh I wanted that. that. The Flag of Honor is for $25, the last bid. Uh, it looks like Nolting. Nolting. The uh, Mary Kay went to Bob Nowicki for $30. Bucks. Bob, you're going to look so hot. <laughs> He's so hot already. <laughs> I know. I wish my, I hope my skin looks good. Like Do you think Todd and Bob can get together and exchange skin tips? I think they should. Maybe we, we should sit in on that. I think we'll we have to listen to Ed. If I think anyone so. knows, it's those two. Okay, I don't know what this is. What is this? B U C? Uh, yeah, LLC. Like, yeah. by LLC. By LLC. Uh, Noking for $15. Sorry, some of the hammering is kind of fancy. If you have a question on it, please go up. You know what items you bid on, so if you have a question, go up there later. Three necklaces went to ramen for 15. The 31 lunch bag went to Pat Frank for 20 bucks. The mystery basket went to Marie Egler for $55. Mary Madsen picked up the frog video for her grandson Trace, I imagine, unless you're doing stuff that I don't know about. <laughs> the frog video, okay? okay? There we go. Merry Christmas to Trace. Denise Jans for $40 has the uh, margarita basket. Six pack of Avon goes to Merle, is it, oh sorry, Marie Egbert for $15. Bear Creek basket went to Hale for $30. And it looks like Beth Jim got the Cabernet basket. Uh, the games and snacks went to Kate Hack for $35. If, if, if the winner keeps going this long, these games are going to come in darn handy, right? Okay, okay. okay uh, one of the quilts uh, went to C, is it Foss? Bach, $60. Looks like a Cindy Hanker for 25 the pet toys. The crucifix went to Alyssa Cook for $45. Budweiser and Bugs went to Tammy Norris for $35. A three-hour cleaning donated by Tracy Dixon went to Julie Jones for $5. Oh, yeah, I'm loving that. I'll babysit the kids while you're cleaning. That's a fair trade, isn't it? That is almost like a vacation. Actually. I might do it. Actually, the three-hour cleaning went to Edwards. Is it looks like it's Edward Told for seventy dollars? Uh, you know, you know what? Actually, the woman who donated the three-hour cleaning, Kathy Akerson, has six boys. Oh my god! And so I will highlight the her. Person? Yeah. Oh, yeah, she's sweetheart. double the kids I have. That's, she's she's such a generous person. She is amazing. She's. A, I always tease her that she should be president. She can balance oh. the budget, and make lunches by noon. Plus, she sends Tracy and I both coupons. I she know. asks us what we like. I'm like Tide almonds. You know, <laughs> and I purse for it. She sends us coupons every month. It's amazing. Wine and glasses goes to Amanda Wallacher for 80 bucks. Mathematics pitcher, it went to Beth, I want to say, looks like Palm, P-O-M, for $40. Clean basket, uh, clean basket, went to G Hill for $35. A yield butcher shop gift certificate, that was from Pepin Heights. Julie Hansen got that for $30. And this Julie Hansen fan club in the house. I love it. Bath and Body Candles went to, uh, Come on. Hill, for $15. Okay, I got nothing. The Travis Tritt Tapestry went to Dean Thompson. Dean Thompson for 10 bucks. Dean, by the way, you can sell that to me later. For 20. <laughs> the Tastefully 
simple four pack went to Amanda Collette for thirty. All right, the tea set went to Jade Welch for sixty dollars. Avon basket with necklace, Marie Egler for twenty bucks. And the ginger current party light, the basket went to Norma Nolting for twenty dollars. Alyssa Simmons for thirty dollars has a tastefully simple treats basket. The uh, Bear Creek Kennels went to Justin Jackson for 15 bucks. Sweet. Okay, uh, MV Hair Studio, that went to Marie for $40. Marie, you were the last bidder on that. About Face Basket, Dennis Jance for 25 bucks. The Twins jersey went to, is it Sam Hansen, for $85. You can wear that to the game and look really nice. And then the cross stitch picture that took so much time and work. Beautiful art. Uh, Michelle Wallers for $20. All right, I said we get down to business. Yes. Should we get this thing started? Yes, we got one quick announcement, though, I wanted to do. Okay. Um, you guys enjoy the food tonight? Oh, yeah. So that was excellent. And you want to know something? If you really enjoyed it, there's some extras. We've got some extra chicken and some extra pork back there. There's about 25 pounds of pork. If you guys are having some family over or forever, what, a reunion, uh, we're going to take some bids on that. Uh, and Chuck's going to do that, so I just want to give you some time to think about that. There's some chicken left as well. So, And you can freeze it. So it was got fresh and cooked on a, a smoker out there today, so it would be something you could freeze if you're having company over. Okay? That is good, too, and a busy night. Yes. 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 The are amazing food. Well done catering with a smile. Uh, wanted to mention, too, we have Country Fest tickets that are going to be raffled off tonight. Here we go. Beth is in the house with Country Fest tickets. She has raffle tickets. She's selling them, and you could go to Country Fest with us this year. You get to choose the day you want to go. The lineup is stellar, as it is every year, but, I mean, particularly this year is amazing. You get to choose the day. You get seats on the Coyote Creek Gun and Archery bus, so you can buy your raffle tickets. Just raise your hand or let her know, or maybe like scream out, Dirk's family loves Tracy, and it'll yeah. get her attention, probably. <laughs> if anybody would like to scream that now, I would enjoy it. Plus it would cost like $80. Thank you. Plus it would talk, it'd cost like $80 to just drive over here with the gas prices. So you get a bus ride over and back. It's really, really a sweet deal. You don't have to worry about parking, drop us off right at the gate. Exactly. Well, today is a special day for a lot of reasons. We want to welcome Dave and Kathy to the stage. Of course, you guys are very, you know Dave and Kathy. This is why we're here tonight. Big uh, round of applause for Dave and Kathy. And we also wanted to acknowledge, if you didn't know it today, I guess some of my hot air blew out most of your candles. There is one left, so maybe we want to make a wish with that one remaining candle. I think I might know what it is, but let's do it. Let's sing happy birthday to Kathy today. You guys ready? Oh, he's got it queued up? Wow. special day for my wife, who is pretty cool. <laughs> oh, I think she's pretty cool. Don't you think she's pretty cool? Yeah. I mean, she's, uh, she's awesome. That's the perfect word. Yeah, she's awesome. Now, maybe some of you know why we're here. If you've seen the pictures, you know that our son is over in Kiev, Ukraine. And we had a chance to get introduced to him over New Year's week, the first week in January. A lot of you people have seen uh, your friends and family and, and, and people that we know and love. And you're here because you, you've heard us talk about him and just rave on and on and on about how cool and wonderful he is. And you, maybe you've seen our, our Facebook page or you've heard Tracy and Julie talk about him and us on the radio. We've been uh, we've been trying to get through this for about seven years now. Um, this started a few years back, and that's why we're here tonight. How we got here tonight is just as cool a story because 
that week that I came back from work after spending a week with Georgie and how incredible we got to see him, I couldn't stop talking about him. I couldn't stop telling everybody about him and how wonderful and cool he is and how much we want him to be with us here permanently and forever. And out of all the people, Julian and, and Tracy and, and everybody that I told, a couple more people that I told were Pam Alberts and Brian Hale with Bear Creek Services. And yeah, yeah, put your hands together for these two people because I told a lot of people, I told everybody. And they could tell just how much we both wanted him here with us how much we wanted him, how bad we wanted him here, what we were doing, the sacrifices that we were making for him. We we got down to a car, one car, a single car. We started recycling cans. We asked folks if they'd let us take their cans and recycle them. We, we got wristbands that we wanted to share with you all because we wanted you to be part of this journey that we've been on for so long. And... One of the things that Pam said to me, that Brian said to me was, have you, have you thought of getting all the people that you know and love together to help you with this? And that's how this got started. And we both want to thank you for being here tonight. I want to thank you because mom's pretty special. Our kid's pretty special too, but this is a very special birthday for you. And I want to thank you for being here tonight. We both want to thank you for being a part of our journey and seeing us in the home stretch because we're seeing the light at the end of the tunnel and it's pretty cool. So thank you for being here tonight with us. Um, and I'm sure Tracy has a few things to say about it, but it's really heartwarming to see everybody here tonight because, you know, it's kind of, it's in a way for me, it's sad that, you know, we have to have all this money to get these poor children who want love that are packed in these orphanages overseas. You know, it's sad to me on that respect, but it is such a wonderful thing to see all the people here tonight that are helping make that dream come true for Dave and Kathy. I've never worked with Kathy. I've worked with Dave, but I have to tell you, he is one of the kindest people I've ever met. He will go out of his way to help me with whatever question I have. He works long hours, probably longer than any of us, and he does it to help others. And I think that is so true by all the people that are here tonight from their church, from Kathy's work at Mayo, and from the radio station. Really, thank you all for coming tonight. Well said, Julie. I uh, ditto with what Julie said. These guys are really good people, and uh, uh, as I had said to you before, it's um, to me it's like uh, every time I get reminded when we do things like this that right now what like he's doing, you know, he's waiting to come over here, and it's just it's really amazing to see everybody out here and supporting Matt. I think about like where he is right now, what, and, and, he, and he has like no idea that all these people are in this room loving and supporting him, and can't wait to meet him. So I think that's really just a, a cool image to keep to and a heartwarming image to go home tonight and, and realize that he has no idea how much he is loved by all of you and all of us. He knows mom and dad, but you know, he'll get to meet all you guys soon too. So we have some wonderful auction items and Chuck's going to come up and we're going to start uh, with the baked goods that we did. So do we need a couple, do we need a couple assistants for the, to yes. Mary and Mary, do you want to come up? We need you guys of, thought I invited you here for dinner. We need a couple of Vanna Whites out of yeah. the crowd to help hold up some of the baked goods. 